easily now. Very easily. Like, we should be done, done easy. But I know when I knock him out, they're going to invite me to go somewhere else. Like the other stage. But I want to stay right here and complete everything with all the Pokemon that are here. Let's talk to the little guy. So you say you got, so you say that you galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Clavor's frenzy. Yep. That we did. Well, you'll mush, you'll mash up Clavor's favorite foods into a ball so you can throw them offerings at him. Well, that's quite an orthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Clavor from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if if it means we might provide Claybor with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Claybor's favorite plump beans. I brought them as promised. Good. God, that's right. My apologies, Arita. Uh, I've forgotten all about you. <laughs> I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have a little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you caught in your little balls. But on my side, I have Pokemon as close to me as my sister and as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Claybar's fate. Will you battle us? Glaceon. Oh, you're so funny. No, um, Dartrix. Uh, no, that's, uh. Crap. I try to change our Pokemon. Oh, well. Hits me with icy wind or something. Powder snow. Yeah. And with the strong style. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that's what we doing, huh? It might not listen to me, but if it does, uh, it's KO. If it listens to me. Bock punch. That was a stupid fight. So stupid. I see now. Pokeballs are simply tools you you use of choice, not products of discard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Oh, thank you. A free heal. Now explain the Galaxy team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Claybar's favorite foods together, ball them up, and then try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him. Interesting. So you've been developed soothing palms of sorts to calm our Lord. Very well. It helps soothe Claybar's frenzy. Let's make these balms with our very hearts and souls. Now give me an unlimited supply because um, I know this is like a little mini game. There. A variable mountain of palms. This should please Clavor if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Clavor, Lords of the Woods. I'm ready. He ain't stronger than me. Oh, mighty Clavor, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Smooky, your focus on Claybor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing palms. Is it in the tree? Oh. His intro is super dope. 
Claywar, Lord of the Woods. All right, to so claim victory against no Pokemon and quell this frenzy, you'll need to throw palms at it until this frenzy reaches zero. All right. Crap, I forgot how to dodge. There we go. Charging up. Dang it. Dodge, dude. About to die. There we go. Okay, so I missed my chance to, um, I missed my chance. All right, I keep missing my chance because <laughs> he keeps hitting the wall. That's new. Oh, got the way. Die just in time. Yeah. I almost got it. Woo. Easy. So a clay ball. An insect plates. I, I know what Pokemon that's for too. Some kind of light erupted from Claywar's body. Has Lord Claywar's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Claywar's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think after we'll all we seen. We know strange lightning came from out the space rift uh, the other night. Those bolts must have struck Claywar and driven him into a frenzy. The lightning came from the space rift, but if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space time rift, then the strange lightning indeed was uh, Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then, uh, were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some palms, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtfulest fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Lian. Remember that the Lord of the Woods was long been our protector. Even the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Uh, what power sent by the true Almighty Sentinel had driven Claywar to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscrimin indiscriminately, I doubt it. What Smooth accomplished just now is just needed to be done. 
I'm glad that we could settle this without um, further strife from the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on the half of the Pearl Clan. Consider my apology for having speaking rudely to you earlier the token of my things. That ain't great balls, keep them. Citrus bears? The heck I'm gonna do with that? Let me care for your Pokemon. Yeah, they didn't fight, so that's unnecessary. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out the sky. Though I cannot imagine the reasons at play, and it seems we've set up things here, though, between you and me. I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Claymore in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. Awesome. So report this to Commander Commodo that you accomplished your mission. Okay, so we can just fast travel from here all the way back up to there, here. Um, let's talk to him, make sure that uh, the data that we got adds up. Thank you. Yep. Still trying to get to that, uh, that level three rank too. Ooh, Drift Bloom is done. Nice. Still not enough. Okay. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the lower Pokemon. And do you and what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those two are the fable plates of old. Please let me have a look. Before that stupid Pokemon that changes types depending on what you put inside of them. I see there are letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says where all creation was born. That is the being's place of origin. It seems a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see. So you were given these plates when you were impressed Weird Deer and Clavor. That's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across the Sui. If we were to gather all of them and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. These mysteries of the past, oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. This guy. This guy. All right, let's bust up in here. Oh, wait. I don't need to talk to you right now. Go to these steps. Hmm, well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Quavor's frenzy, restoring the peace of mind to Asui's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet to serve the galaxy team admirably. I admit that you earn yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies around the Hisui. But carry on with the research and survey duties and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You're dismissed. Your fellow survey corps members are likely at the Wildflower. Go join them. <laughs> no rewards. Nothing else. Just an attaboy and go on about your business. All right, here they go. They want to talk about what we just did. Uh, yep, we had a good job. Uh, Quelling Claivor. He's fine now. Oh, we got a smoke bomb. And now we can pretty much just go around and do this for all the other lords. Ooh, I'm going to my room. What kind of cussing is this? Smooth. I've been waiting for you, Smooth. My name's Vanessa. There's something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? I bet you it's not important.
Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. The Sui is in a lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please will hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Tell me what I gotta do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I knew you'd be willing to help. This old keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Okay. Ah, keystone. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of whips scattered across the Sui. 107 of them in total. With the old keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the whips are normally vi invisible, but not to the holder of the Oz keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please just you have to gather all the whips for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about we start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Bro, that's crazy. That girl just said it. it's invisible to everybody, but if you have the keystone, you can touch it. So how can she see it? Very interesting. The whiz has been absorbed into the odd keystone just as uh, it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me whenever you need help finding the remaining whiz. And one last thing, as you gather more and more, I give you rewards as thanks. I wait here for your, while you carry out your good luck. Wait for well, you search good luck. I wonder if they only appear at night. The next day. Whoa, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge? Here she goes. Oh, hey, you're smooth. The boy who quelled Claybar, aren't you? That's me. I knew you got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quell one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I am Arizu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, Snip. I came here to talk to you about your Mr. Commodore. See you around. Okay. I don't know what that's about. Go do your thing. I'll catch up with you. And there we go. Awesome. 